morning and welcome to Morning Matters. This morning we are broadcasting from the veranda. With me this morning I have Abigail and Will. Will, good morning, how are you? Good morning, doing terrific, Rana. How are you doing? I'm great. Abigail, good morning, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Will, you have Abigail with us this morning. Yes. Tell us a little bit about Abigail. Well, Abigail is a model for Nuvo Model Management. Um, we have... We currently have about 40 models with us, and um, we are uh, we are also now including male models. So we have five male models along with the 40 f uh, female models that we do have. Um, Abigail here is one of the models, like I said, with Nouveau, and she's she uh, she's been doing stuff for Nouveau in terms of um, advertising and promo modeling and brand modeling and uh, trade show modeling and stuff like that. Tell us a little bit about Nuvo. If somebody's just watching Morning Matters in the, for the first time, tell them a little bit about your company. Well, Nuvo Model Management is basically a company that is putting Belizean talent and Belizean beauty at the forefront of, than, it, uh, than it has ever been. Um, what we're doing is we're actually getting the models prepared for a professional career in modeling, not only here in Belize, but we're trying to prepare them for, for anything that's abroad. Um, for example, if Mexico has Fashion Week, we want to be able to be able to send them to Mexico. If Guatemala has Fashion Week, we want to be able to send them to Guatemala. If the Caribbean has Fashion Week, we want to be able to do that. And that's exactly what Nuvo is actually accomplishing at this point. It's actually getting the girls ready to be able to go out beyond the shores of Belize to other countries and actually exhibit what we have here in Belize. Awesome. Uh, what first got you involved in Nuvo? Well, I, tr I decided to try something new and I heard about Nuvo Model Management so I decided to give it a try and now I'm a model for them and it's, a, it's great. Excellent. How old are you if I may ask? I'm 18. How long have you been modeling? Uh, not for long, like a couple months you would say. Do you go to school as well? Um, yes. I do. Um, online classes it's life grand <laughs> tell you i remember back in the day if you don't go in four walls you're not going to school <laughs> well that, that's the way it was back yeah. in the day but Things now so it, it's, it's it's changed it's actually changed and the you know the luxury of being able to do classes online is certainly good for the models as well you know so that's one of the good things about it and we do promote um further education in new home model management we don't you know it's not about you come out of school and we don't encourage you to go back to school we do encourage the girls to go back to school because having an education is is first and foremost absolutely i mean it doesn't matter how pretty or attractive you are if you have no substance then you get nowhere exactly all right jumping right into morning mass but before we do that i have to tell you that we are at the veranda they're open um mondays through saturdays from seven in the morning until seven in the evening so check them out they're open for lunch and uh, breakfast and lunch tomorrow there's or today their special is going to be shrimp any style all right and you get it with white rice or vegetable rice or rice and beans or fries curry, or whatever cur it is curry like. shrimp you can have curry shrimp you can have jerk shrimp you can have just any kind any of, kind of shrimp. shrimp that you can sounds just delicious shrimp it up. <laughs> any matters you want to share with me Rana, you have this smile on your face that just tell me that screaming that you have a matter i have no matter no what's your matter Rana? i have no matter but i'll tell you somebody else's matter uh -huh, tell you me. know the other day i was talking to this guy and he said that the, his girl accused him of lying. And he said, well, it's not that I wanted to lie to you. It's that your personality is so strong that I uh, refrain from telling you certain things or switch certain things around so that it would, you wouldn't get more upset. Really? <laughs> Um, so now you not only lie to the woman, you justify the lie. That's like well, your fault that I lied to you. Well, really? What you Come on, guys. What, what, what do you expect when the woman has that strong personality? Re I expect want? for the man to... It, lying is... You can't justify lying. So now every man that has a strong woman will go around and, and make up lies? Because L lying, he, lying is certainly wrong, for one. I mean, no matter... No, no matter, no ma Yeah, no matter okay. what it is. But at the same time, I can understand in a sense where a woman has a strong personality that the man, I guess, has to break it to her a little easier in some cases than Don't others. Don't you think that in that case they will not argue about what happened now, they will argue about the lie? Well, yes, definitely. He, all that could have been prevented by saying, you know, Will, this is what's going on, you know. Well, yeah, You like true. it or you leave it, because it's not, the, you, I would imagine that it's not the first time that they're faced with that. And by now, it they won't be the last time either. 
it possibly could be. <laughs> it very well could be. If it was me, it would be the last time. I'd wipe my slate clean from that. Because I, I, nobody should tolerate that kind of simpleness. And I could put it. So it's that kind of a matter on the, it's a pff, kind of. Pff. It's that kind of morning. <laughs> Send your matters in, email it to us. I have to say in uh, the next few shows or so, we're going to be away. We're going to make our first stop in New York. All right. And then there's no telling where we go after that. But we'll definitely be in New York uh, later or early next week or later this week or sometime soon. So we encourage you, for all the Belizean Americans out there, send us your matters. Uh, if there's something we must see or someplace we must go while we are in New York, please let us know. All right. Now that I have the, all that out the way, let's move into some matters. All right. Let's see. You I seem to think that it's okay for the man to justify the No, I'm not, I'm not seeing justification of a there, lie. There are women out there that are doing the same thing. You know, well, I know my husband is going to be upset, so I'm not going to tell him. I'm going to tell well, him this instead of telling him the truth. Tell your partners the truth. It's, well, it's not a matter of telling him the truth. Well, I understand. Tell him the truth. Yes. But in some cases, like I'm explaining, there is some women and some men that don't know how to handle things or so they have a personality they, wait so you think they are better and they can handle their lie better i just say us make i, make I just finish my statement and then i want, I want then you could say Aye. all right okay and they say what happened is some of their personalities are so strong that no matter how you break it to them they're gonna blow up so what you try to do is you try to ease it to them in a certain kind of way however does that make it right or wrong by not telling them? No, it's not. So you're saying to me that as opposed to the person blowing up for the truth, you prefer for them to blow up for no, a lie. No, 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 I'm not blow saying. blow up, they will. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. No, I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not I saying don't that. Get it. I'm just saying is I'm just saying and that some people you need to you need to let it down, let the, the truth out a little at a time as opposed to letting it out. All at so, one. so you want to um, you want to Prolong drag it. out the argument now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying if to see. If you put it that way around, you, you know, guys think so different. I, me, I come and I tell you the truth now. Mm -hmm. You like it or you leave it. If we're gonna quarrel, let's quarrel about the truth as opposed to you lying to me or me lying to you. Because if quarrel, we quarrel. We must quarrel, but let it be about something that is of value as opposed to you lying to me. I take issue with that. For me, that's a major problem. So, so in other words, you want you want get over the quarrel and get it done with, and that's and it. And we argue for the right thing. We know we argue over you lying. We not even reach the matter yet, you know. <laughs> we not even reach the, the thing where you do. We not argue that you lie. All right, I get I get you, Rana. I get you. Cheers. <laughs> and then. Tell me. Well, and I say this because I see how people, men and women alike, can be. They can start to question whether or not they are the ones doing wrong. Because if you weren't so strong, Will, I wouldn't have to lie to you. Really, man? <laughs> <laughs> really? So now that's my fault again. Yes, I always run the fault. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. You have any matters that you want to share with this morning? I think you guys basically said it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I am 18. You sure it's not you that's sending this text? <laughs> it says, I am 18 years old and I have this guy that I love. I live in the city. And I go to UB. This is must be you. He says he lives in Dan Gregor and he have a girl that he also love from Mango Creek. But he loves the two are we. Where I must do. So she love him, but he love two other he love two of I would have said you tell her to put two on the name in her hat and raffle it. If you can't <laughs> decide we're good for you, then how you want to put your destiny in a somebody else's hand, man? No. No, I mean the truth is he needs to come down and he needs to decide on one. It's not he him. Can't it's her. Well, he no need for the nothing. He no like this joke. Sorry, I, I didn't answer well, that. Yeah, yeah, I notice. I notice. I think we need a, a fire extinguisher around here somewhere. <laughs> I just not get it. <laughs> yes, Sorry, you, you're, co you're correct. She doesn't need to make a decision. And, you know, he can't be in love with two people at the same time. So definitely he's not taking it to that extent he needs to she needs to make a decision on what she wants to do she can't give him the power of choosing her life for her well she can but she's never going to be in control makes no sense okay next matter for you oh it's a long one or maybe for you because it seems like a boy if your girlfriend lied see start off with it if your girlfriend lied about being pregnant 
for two men, two months, and then breaks up with you, and I give you no explana explanation about the child. What am I supposed to do? So in other words, she say me pregnant, but he never really pregnant, but you may think he pregnant. That I totally understand. And she left, and I said nothing about oh, the picnic. Oh wait, he sent our next text. He says. And he sent a sort of follow-up that says, if your girlfriend and you have been together for five years, she lied about being pregnant for two months. Then she breaks up with you and gives you no explanation about the child. But I knew that she probably threw away the child for, for the betterment of her schooling. I also go to college. What am I to do? Well, no, that, that makes the matter even worse. Yeah. Because it's not only the fact that you know, he, she lied about having a, 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 she had a child and he's suspecting that she actually, in, in terms of threw away the child, have, having an abortion, mm -hmm. which in certain cases is a moral, is a moral, con, uh, um, is a moral problem. Um, the thing about that is he needs to find out what really happened, in all honesty. I mean, at, in this state, in this day and age, abortion we know is a, is more of a thing of morality than it is actually against the law. Well, I think that, in my humblest opinion, what's done is done. What's done cannot be undone. Undone, yeah. Right? And I am not here to champion that cause because I always say that abortion is not contraceptive. Mm -hmm. I am anti-abortion, except in extreme cases, maybe where you were raped or something severe happened, then perhaps. But I don't think that young people should be having unprotected sex when they get pregnant, they abort the child, and they carry on their lives as usual. So I am anti-abortion. Let me be the first to say that. You as the man or as the young man, you can't, you can't undo what she did. Exactly. I would say maybe when she grows up, maybe when you, she matures, she will come to you one day and says, well, you know what, Peter, I'm really sorry. This is what happened then. I felt like I had to do it. Or you know what, Peter, I never was pregnant. I thought I was pregnant, but I never was pregnant. At the end of the day, she break up with you and she gone. I say you have to put closure to it yourself. Exactly, and I mean in this case, it's it's so unfortunate because he has no closure in it in in it because he feels like he he actually had a child, and he it sounds to me that he wanted to be a part of this child's life, and he was already planning on this, and for it to be ripped away from him, I think that's where he why he's not finding any closure. Everything in time. This Just is Morning it. Matters. We're going to take a break and we will be back. From the company who brought you Buendia Freeze Dried Coffee, Grace 100% Pure Colombian Coffee is made in Colombia. Considered among the finest coffee regions around the world. Naturally freeze dried, Gries 100% pure Colombian coffee is exposed to less heat than other coffee brands to preserve the flavor and aroma to make the perfectly convenient cup of coffee you deserve. Have a buenos dias with Grace. Recipes go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace, bringing good taste to life. With the high cost of fuel these days, every fill-up can be a curiously scary experience. Rising gas prices have transformed to the point where it feels like it can cost you the shirt off your back. That's why we created Lucas Fuel Saving Motor Oils. Their special additives increase compression and minimize friction, improving fuel mileage. With Lucas, you'll keep from losing your shirt, or even worse. Seaboard Marine, a leader in ocean transportation, is now offering services to Belize. Offering the fastest and most reliable transit to Belize, Seaboard Marine is the number one choice for shipping. We offer shipping of less than container loads, such as boxes, barrels, and chill cargo. Full dry and refrigerated containers, project cargo, heavy and special equipment, vehicles, and more. We have sailings from Canada, Houston, New Orleans, Miami, the Caribbean, Central and South America. Seaboard Marine offers the most competitive rates with a fast and dependable shipping schedule. 
excellent customer service, and a convenient location with plenty of parking. Visit our office, website, or call us for more information. Whichever suits you better, Grace Coconut Milk is your best choice for taste. Good as homemade, only more convenient. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Of all the colors in the world, orange is perhaps the most exciting, distinctive, and vibrant color there is. Just like the Orange Gallery. But what makes the Orange Gallery outstanding is what's inside. A huge collection of breathtaking wood carvings and a spectacular display of home decor accessories and magnificent gift items. Browse a fabulous selection of furniture from chairs to entertainment centers. And wait till you see the Orange Gallery's breathtaking selection of jewelry for every occasion and every person. From casual to dressy bracelets and earrings to great items for men, including a spectacular choice of handmade knives. Then, when you've shopped till you're ready to drop, drop in to the Orange Gallery's fabulous restaurant and recharge for the rest of your Orange Expedition. The Orange Gallery. Beautiful. Unique. Exquisite. Whether it's your life you're trying to sweeten or someone else's, make it Moho Chocolate. At Moho Chocolate, we produce the finest quality chocolate. All the cocoa used by Moho Chocolate is sourced from over 120 farmers from southern Belize. We produce chocolate bars, chocolate truffles, mini chocolate squares in several flavors, and organic cocoa powder. We also have gift baskets. The next time you eat chocolate, make sure it's Moho Chocolate. Visit us at any of our three locations in Tourism Village in Belize City, in San Pedro, or in the Departure Lounge at the International Airport. When you think chocolate, think Moho Chocolate. Welcome back to Morning Matters right here from the veranda. Yes, it's, it's, it's actually a great place. Um, the, if you haven't been here, you need to come here. The, the actual breeze and the, the ambiance up here is pretty, it's pretty amazing. This is the coolest hot spot in town. This I is think so. really a nice I place. So. Is it your first time? Y yes, and it's very nice. You know, you feel all the breeze, you feel all comfortable and right home. So tell me what the models do. Beside modeling, I mean, how no person a day? One of the wake up in the morning, eat like one slice of bread, drink some hot tea, and then go work out. <laughs> I mean, really, because you have to stay thin. It's staying healthy, not thin, <laughs> you know? Starting off with the gym, you know? Just starting off good. Um, getting your work done, going to the gym, starting your day with whatever you have to do other than going to the gym right after you know you know i find it so funny will because i remember i was never really skinny but i was never really fat <laughs> right i mean this is the heaviest i have been and i'm not that heavy okay tv does add on like 20 pounds to me i really look <laughs> 20 pounds lighter um but i remember when we were young like now i see young kids like 16 17 going to the gym when we were young we come home from school we go play ball we kick ball we run around Gym was, gym was for older people. Now we have 18 year old, 15, like my daughter, she runs all the time. I'm like, what? <laughs> really? Well, I mean, the difference is, I, I, and you know the way the society is today, yeah. you know, we can't really go out there and do what we used to do before. We can't go ride our bikes around the lane. We can't, you know, go play ball in the, around the corner without the fear of some sort of reprisal or some sort of violence or, uh, of some sort. I mean, it's just unfortunate. I mean, and it's not just Belize. It's everywhere in the Caribbean and around the world right now. But it's so different. And I think it's, it has a lot to do with what we consume as well. Because when we were kids, we never, our parents never carry us out for dinner all the time and lunches all the time. They cook. 
and you eat when I cook or else you not eat. Yeah, that 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 <laughs> that the true. That the true. It is. You have you sure you don't have no matter. I don't have, I don't have no, sure? no. I don't have none. Not today. Okay. I I had an ex. He doesn't want to work. He stays at home. He says he loves me. He hustles and he tells me that I need help financially. And he comes and give me 40 uh, elder, come give me, I guess he's 40. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, she got a lazy man home. <laughs> and then on top of that, one other man to check she out. Girl, you need to leave all them man alone. What do you think about that? Just left them alone. The thing is, it sounds like she is wrong herself, wrong everything where everybody else do. She needs to start focus by herself. Exactly. I have my boyfriend for 12 years and he got another girl. And the text my phone saying that she pregnant for him <laughs> and wants me to make him call her. What? That, 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 as brazen as, brazen as that. Wait, I see something on Facebook. You know that Facebook I get all my news, right? <laughs> Um, I don't remember who shared it, but it, 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 it was when a woman is fed up uh -huh. was the topic, basically. She needs to do something like this. What it did was it says, congratulations to Will Moreno and tell me your name. Abigail. And Abigail, um, I know you're expecting a brand new baby. Uh, Sign the wife, Dalila Mitchell. You know, that is, that is what she needs to do. <laughs> she just needs to congratulate them and let them be. That's crazy. Because what do you want to do? I mean, there's nothing that, he, that she can do. I mean, she feels like she's in a relationship, but she's really not. Because obviously the other person is in a deeper relationship than she is. She bringing the baby into this world. But you also have to look at her part. You know? Sorry? You also have to look at her part. I mean, she feel a certain way. She feel hurt by him going behind her back and getting another woman pregnant. And that's okay. She's entitled to be hurt. Okay. But because we all get hurt at some point in time. But now how you deal with this hurt is one thing. Do you try and stay with a man that obviously is bringing another child into this world? And I don't believe it's the first time he's cheating because if it was the first time, chances are he would not be caught. Chances are he wouldn't make her pregnant because he'd take proper precaution. So if they're already bringing a child into this world, do you really want to add that more weight to your relationship? I mean, for me, I would say no. Different people deal with it differently. Yeah. I don't know that I would want to fight him into staying with me because he has chosen otherwise. I mean, I would sit down with him and say, look, dude, what's the deal? Congratulations and goodbye. But you have other options as well. You might want to listen to Abigail and just talk to the man and, and figure it out and work it out and be stepmother by distance to this new child. I don't know how to work all that out. Me, I say no. I like the kind of mood I did today. I just say no. <laughs> I say no. I no, I mean, no. It, it's the truth because in a situation like that, you're you're gonna always blame the child, even if you, even if you accept the child, you're gonna always blame the child for that person leaving the relationship, and it's not a, it's not fair for that child. None at all. All right, next matter. I have my boyfriend for twelve years. Oh, that's the same one. Mm -hmm. My baby father done me wrong in the past. It's hard to forget it. He comes around and. All sorts and does all sorts of things for me. What should I do? He he neglects his children. So that's that's basically her argument. He neglects. Well, she says he do all kind of stuff to her in the past. It's hard for her to forget. He come around me back, do all sorts of things for me. I guess it's supposed to be to she. Mm -hmm. What should she do? And he neglects his children. I said, why you take him back? You should never, never take him back. And if you take him back, the time for you let him go. Any man would don't do you so much wrong, neglect your children. We we bring back to the table that way I want. What is he bringing back to the table? Nothing. He's just bringing back that same hurt and that the same part. Do you really need it? No. Good. I have my husband. We live together, but I don't feel sure of his love. Well, if you're not sure about the love, it could be that he communicate for he love in a different way than you are willing to accept it. It could be that for he love the one physical love or one verbal love or one quiet kind of love, while your love might be 
a little different. Maybe you want him to show you that he loves you by making you breakfast in the morning or giving you a pedicure once a week or whatever it is. But if you don't feel love from your spouse, tell them what you want. The, the one thing here, Rhonda, is a lot of people feel like love is actually a feeling. It's a, lot, a choice. They, they, it's, a, it's actually a choice that you decide to be with someone. It's not, it's not a feeling or that feeling of butterflies in the very beginning. That's just, that's just an emotional thing that you go through. But really and truly, if you love someone, it's a choice to be with that person um, in, in regards to their good sides and their bad sides. So you accept both. Exactly. So in this, I mean, in this case, it seems to me she doesn't really, n she thinks love is one thing and maybe he's thinking love is another and they're not on the same, they're not on the same parallel. Have the discussion. Exactly. I've been with my boyfriend for six years, but just found out that he and his ex are in communication. What to do? I think they have something going on still. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe they just like talking, but I'd say what, what they have to communicate. I would ask, so babe, what you and Mary Jane have to talk about still? History? It depends on what kind of communication. They want to talk about history? Then they could go back. <laughs> you know, no, I'm just kidding. You know, it, 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 and sometimes I say this, and I'm not saying to leave your relationship because of that. Yeah. I would say speak to the gentleman and find out what they're communicating about. And, and if you're uncomfortable with it, ask him to stop it. Don't accuse him of nothing. Just tell him, babe, you know, I really don't like that you're talking to Abigail, you know. I feel uncomfortable with the relationship that you have with Abigail. If he is serious about the relationship, he'll say, you know what, I understand. And he wants to slow it down or stop it. Or if he must talk to Abigail, he'll make it more open place where it is more comfortable for everybody. In a situation like that, it, it is certainly hard. I mean, especially, let's say it's in a situation whereby they have to talk. Yes. Then you would have you'd have to have that in the open, yes. as opposed to having it behind closed doors. The minute you have it behind closed doors, there's reason for anyone to think that something is definitely going on. You know, I I often wonder why people stay in relationships that are not going anywhere, that are not fulfilling to them. You know, um, and what and they're clearly not in love. Do they stay in it because they want to feel a level of control? You know. Will is an okay man, and I like him, but I'm not in love with him, but I don't want Abigail to have him. I want to be able to control Will's life, so I am going to stay with Will. Mm -hmm. When you do that, you're hurting yourself more than Will, because Will will do what Will wants. And the only person that will be bleeding and crying will be you, because Will will do what Will want to do at any rate. So if you're in a relationship and you're holding on to it for the wrong reason, let it go letting it go will let yourself go i certainly agree with you you know i certainly agree and, with and, you and i feel that far too many people do that they stay in a relationship because i dealt with will for the past 10 years and i really know want to look for somebody else but i'm not really happy with will but i don't want to look for somebody else and i want to make will parents not like me anymore when i go up on the road people are still ask me for will guess what Better I ask you for Will and you're happy than that you're there with Will and you're cry. I mean, also a thing that, that you're coming down to this, one of the things that I also don't agree with in, in any relationship is, I'm pretty sure you've heard it, Rhonda, a lot of moms or a lot of females who have kids staying in the relationship for the kids. When you stay in a relationship for the kids and the, and the relationship is not happy, you're killing the kids. Exactly. You're not helping the kids. And that, that, that's why I had to bring it up because it's something similar to the, along the lines you that know? you were talking. But in, re in reality, what you're basically doing is you're actually suffering and you're not only suffering in the relationship, but you're also dragging the kids along with it. Absolutely. Unnecessarily so. All right. It's better for the children to see two happy parents in separate places than two unhappy parents in one place. This is Morning Matters. We're going to take a break. During the break, we're going to go to a clip that we did from Grace Kennedy earlier this morning. From the company who brought you Buendia Freeze Dried Coffee, Grace 100% Pure Colombian Coffee is made in Colombia. Consider among the finest coffee regions around the world. Naturally freeze-dried, Gries 100% pure Colombian coffee is exposed to less heat than other coffee brands to preserve the flavor and aroma. 
to make the perfectly convenient cup of coffee you deserve. Have a buenos dias with Grace. Recipes go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace, bringing good taste to life. With the high cost of fuel these days, every fill-up can be a curiously scary experience. Rising gas prices have transformed to the point where it feels like it can cost you the shirt off your back. That's why we created Lucas Fuel Saving Motor Oils. Their special additives increase compression and minimize friction, improving fuel mileage. With Lucas, you'll keep from losing your shirt, or even worse. Seaboard Marine, a leader in ocean transportation, is now offering services to Belize. Offering the fastest and most reliable transit to Belize, Seaboard Marine is the number one choice for shipping. We offer shipping of less than container loads, such as boxes, barrels, and chill cargo. Full dry and refrigerated containers, project cargo, heavy and special equipment, vehicles, and more. We have sailings from Canada, Houston, New Orleans, Miami, the Caribbean, Central and South America. Seaboard Marine offers the most competitive rates with a fast and dependable shipping schedule, excellent customer service, and a convenient location with plenty of parking. Visit our office, website, or call us for more information. Whichever suits you better, Grace Coconut Milk is your best choice for taste. Good as homemade, only more convenient. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Of all the colors in the world, orange is perhaps the most exciting, distinctive, and vibrant color there is. Just like the Orange Gallery. But what makes the Orange Gallery outstanding is what's inside. A huge collection of breathtaking wood carvings and a spectacular display of home decor accessories and magnificent gift items. Browse a fabulous selection of furniture from chairs to entertainment centers. And wait till you see the Orange Gallery's breathtaking selection of jewelry for every occasion and every person. From casual to dressy bracelets and earrings to great items for men, including a spectacular choice of handmade knives. Then, when you've shopped till you're ready to drop, drop in to the Orange Gallery's fabulous restaurant and recharge for the rest of your Orange Expedition. The Orange Gallery. Beautiful. Unique. Exquisite. Whether it's your life you're trying to sweeten or someone else's, make it Moho Chocolate. At Moho Chocolate, we produce the finest quality chocolate. All the cocoa used by Moho Chocolate is sourced from over 120 farmers from southern Belize. We produce chocolate bars, chocolate truffles, mini chocolate squares in several flavors, and organic cocoa powder. We also have gift baskets. The next time you eat chocolate, make sure it's Moho Chocolate. Visit us at any of our three locations in Tourism Village in Belize City, in San Pedro, or in the Departure Lounge at the International Airport. When you think chocolate, think Moho Chocolate. Welcome to Morning Matters. This morning we are broadcasting from Grace Kennedy Belize Limited. With me this morning I have... Erson Rodriguez. Erson, good morning to you Erson. How are good you? Morning, good. Doing well. I love the weather. It is good weather. True. Yeah. It started out a little hot, then it got a little overcast. Now it's okay. I mean, life is grand. Yes, it is. I love, actually I love the weather right now and, and because the weather is perfect, I got with me a promotion that's going on. For, it's ending May 30th and what we're doing is that 
at the end of three persons get to win. What they're gonna we win? win everything inclusive at the Royal Palm Key Resort. How many days I am in? Tell me. Tonight, stay. Everything inclusive, anything you want to do. Anything I want to eat, anything I yeah, want to drink, anything. any tour I want to go on. Yes, anything. How I could win this. All right, so what we have here is, let me show you first of all, it's an entire coconut product of Grace, right? So we got the, the oil, the Grace coconut oil. We have the, the sachets of the, the ones that you already know in the stores, right? The, the 50 gram. And if you notice carefully, they have a little label on it, a little code. This is what you text. You either text if you are a Digicel user or a smart user, you would text to Digicel 101093. Or if a smart user, you text 47223. Um, for Digicel users, there's a 50 cents um, charge. So if you text to that, you get a 50 cents charge. Okay, and, and so the more you text, the more chances you get to win? That's correct, that's correct. When is the raffle going to be drawn? This is May 30th. So, let me understand how this raffle works. I buy any Grace coconut product, like coconut oil or coconut milk, mm -hmm. and I find these in the stores. I look on the, on the label, I pick up the number, depending on what service I have. Yeah. If I'm the Giselle, I text 10, 10, 2, 9, 3, uh, 2, 9, 2. 3. Smart. And then, if I'm a smart user, I text the other number. And on May 30th, you're going to be announcing the winner of, a the, the, of, the, of the Actually, raffle. the last day to text in is May 30th. So after that, the person, they could select any two nights that they would like to stay on. So let's say if, if you win. When I win. Uh, yeah, when you win. <laughs> let's put it that way. When you win, and depending on what availability Royal Palm has, then you could arrange with them, but with us first of all, and then we tell them what days you have as an option. And, I love it. And of I course, you, you could plan it. beforehead. It's, if it's in, let's say, in June, or July that you want to go, but well, it's perfect because you still could plan ahead, you know? You know, I know that there is coconut milk. I'm accustomed to using regular coconut mm -hmm. milk, right? And now I notice you have a light coconut milk. Yes, we, we have several. Let me show you what the new things that we have here Please. today. All right, so first of all, we got this. What is that? It's a 300 gram. It's the same grace coconut powder. It's, it's similar to this. Okay. Instead of buying the entire box, let's say you want to buy half the box just buy this these are like individual packets as well no that's the beauty about so it so i use scoop when you measure it myself when you're cooking more for for like a restaurant or, or something like that you want to use this one here because you don't have to be opening and opening and opening and then pouring okay. you know? so it's, it's far easier it's more convenient this way so got this one here 300 gram and if you're cooking like for super super huge huge places then you use this one yeah, right? this, this is the one, one I will need for whom? Right, because you got a big family. <laughs> well, oh, and then for gosh. persons that are recently married or, or single and they just, and they want to cook only one single meal thing, you know? So what they use in that case would be this size right here. No, on a serious right? note, this would be what I would need. And this is actually half the size of this okay. one. Okay. So this is a 25 gram, except I have it upside down. It doesn't matter as long as you taste it. As long right? as you taste it, it doesn't matter how you hold the package. Okay, and also these are having the promotion there too. So it's gonna have a, a label, but something that is important to note is that whenever you text in, uh -huh. in order for us to confirm that you actually purchased the product, you need to keep the label with you on the product. So I need to keep all my packets? Yes, it's not for long. It's not I mean, for long. It's not for long. Cut right. them off and you just you can cut them off. You don't have to keep the whole packet. You can just cut it off, can't you? Well, like cut off the front, like, I don't know. You have to keep the whole packet. I would say you could take off the part that you don't want and just leave probably like this amount of it. All right, well, I yeah. tell you, when you buy at Grace, you get a chance to win a two night stay at Royal Palm Resort right here in Belize. I tell you, if you're in town and you normally use Grace to Make your food taste better. This is a perfect time. Coconut and the promotion yeah. is on all the on all the products, the even coconut even products. coconut uh, oil, even coconut oil. You know, coconut oil tastes really good and it's healthy. This it's, tastes good with anything. Anything is healthy. You add salt to this and make it into a soup. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're like that good chef, yeah. You know? Water and salt and that, good to go. But I tell you, definitely we encourage you to go into the stores, look for Grace products, look for the promotional uh, sticker on the 
On the products. On the Coconut products. products. And you cut them off, text them to whichever service provider you have and you get the chance to win two nights stay all inclusive for two persons? Two persons, that's correct. I forgot Boy. to mention that part, it's you know, it's two, two persons. persons. It's three couples that are winning. Oh, it's three couples three that couples. are winning. So it's not only, not let's only say, me. not only you. So two other couples. Two other couples. There you go, we could all meet up and have a party out there. And that too, you could arrange to say, you know what, I want to go with the rest of the persons who won. Okay, well, when, when the drawing date comes nearer, we're going to remind you and keep you updated. Uh, you can check out your Facebook page. I would imagine that you have um, yeah, so information have on, on the Facebook, Facebook page. We're going to have it on the radio too. All right, so shop, grace and win. Anything else you'd like to share with us? Uh, we also have um, a ketchup jingle going on around. It's pretty nice with Denise Castillo. Okay. I just want to say I love it. Okay. I love the song. It's really catchy. It's top it off, top it off with grease, tomato, ketchup, you know. And you have promotion it's, on ketchup as well? Yes, we have them in the stores. It's a pouch. It's more like for children. Okay. It's more for design for children or, or the picnic time. You know, it's a hot time and you want to go to the riverside or, or to the pool and have a picnic, a minor one. Just take the ketchup with you, squeeze it on, top it off. Anything you want to fries or whatever, you know, burgers. I absolutely love it. Well, Erson, thank you so much um, for sharing all this with us. Hopefully, people will go into the store and purchase these products. We also have to remind you that it's all the Grace coconut yeah. products. And the milk in the can, the sachets, the everything. The sachets, everything. It's in the stores, not only here in Belize City, but also out districts too. That's right. And go. in the Keys. So everybody in the entire country, Belize, can win with Grace this year. May 30. <laughs> because that's a Friday. <laughs> May 30 is the last day to text in. So start buying and start texting. We go to break and we'll be back. From the company who brought you Buendia Freeze Dried Coffee, Grace 100% Pure Colombian Coffee is made in Colombia. Consider among the finest coffee regions around the world. Naturally freeze-dried, Gris 100% pure Colombian coffee is exposed to less heat than other coffee brands to preserve the flavor and aroma to make the perfectly convenient cup of coffee you deserve. Have a buenos dias with Gris. Recipes go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace, bringing good taste to life. With the high cost of fuel these days, every fill-up can be a curiously scary experience. Rising gas prices have transformed to the point where it feels like it can cost you the shirt off your back. That's why we created Lucas Fuel Saving Motor Oils. Their special additives increase compression and minimize friction, improving fuel mileage. With Lucas, you'll keep from losing your shirt, or even worse. Seaboard Marine, a leader in ocean transportation, is now offering services to Belize. Offering the fastest and most reliable transit to Belize, Seaboard Marine is the number one choice for shipping. We offer shipping of less than container loads, such as boxes, barrels, and chilled cargo. Full dry and refrigerated containers, project cargo, heavy and special equipment, vehicles, and more. We have sailings from Canada, Houston, New Orleans, Miami, the Caribbean, Central and South America. Seaboard Marine offers the most competitive rates with a fast and dependable shipping schedule, excellent customer service, and a convenient location with plenty of parking. Visit our office, website, or call us for more information. Whichever suits you better, Grace Coconut Milk is your best choice for taste. Good as homemade, only more convenient. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Of all the colors in the world, orange is perhaps the most exciting, distinctive, and vibrant color there is. Just like the Orange Gallery. But what makes the Orange Gallery outstanding is what's inside. A huge collection of breathtaking wood carvings and a spectacular display of home decor accessories and magnificent gift items. 
Browse a fabulous selection of furniture from chairs to entertainment centers. And wait till you see the Orange Gallery's breathtaking selection of jewelry for every occasion and every person, from casual to dressy bracelets and earrings to great items for men, including a spectacular choice of handmade knives. Then, when you've shopped till you're ready to drop, drop in to the Orange Gallery's fabulous restaurant and recharge for the rest of your Orange Expedition. The Orange Gallery, beautiful, unique, exquisite. Whether it's your life you're trying to sweeten or someone else's, make it Moho Chocolate. At Moho Chocolate, we produce the finest quality chocolate. All the cocoa used by Moho Chocolate is sourced from over 120 farmers from southern Belize. We produce chocolate bars, chocolate truffles, mini chocolate squares in several flavors, and organic cocoa powder. We also have gift baskets. The next time you eat chocolate, make sure it's Moho Chocolate. Visit us at any of our three locations in Tourism Village in Belize City, in San Pedro, or in the Departure Lounge at the International Airport. When you think chocolate, think Moho Chocolate. beautiful day we have the chef out here from the veranda I tell you he's behind the camera not only in the kitchen no he's behind the camera but I tell you if you have not tried the veranda you're missing out definitely they have one of the best uh, curry chicken that I've had in a in years jerk chicken they have burgers they, they have good food here at the veranda and guess what it's a nice place to sit down and their special tomorrow is shrimp any style shrimp any style meaning you can have it your way it's not even tomorrow it's a special today. Uh, today, sorry. <laughs> the special today is shrimp in a style. That's right. Stop in today for your lunch. Uh, you can give them a call. Uh, let me see if there's a number on this menu. No, there's, there's not. There's no number. Just come on up to the veranda, it's second floor, downtown plaza. Hi, morning. I have a boyfriend. I love him, but he always telling me lies that he that he have a next girl so I can get jealous. This boy are crazy. Mm -hmm. And when I get vexed, he doesn't want to talk to me. What am I to do? Some, somehow there's a, a thing. Yeah, I noticed there's a trend with lies today. You noticed? Sickening. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me physically sick. Lies is lies is lies lie, no matter lie, how. Lie. Why would he make up such a painful lie though? He has self-esteem issues. He yes, has to. It, it definitely looks like that. I want to seem special, so I'm going to lie to you and tell you that somebody else wants me. I mean, really? It seems like he doesn't even care about his relationship, too. No, because he's so special. He got swag that other people chasing him. And he ain't think that, boy, he, you know when the next time he tell you that, you don't get vexed with him. You say goodbye. Call his bluff. Let's see. Let's see what he really doing. There you go. Let's see what we have here. I have my boyfriend, but people keep telling me bad things about him. What should I do? I'm a teenager. People keep telling her bad things about him. Yeah. And she's a teenager. Well, she, like, she, she, well, she really needs to listen to what, some of the things that maybe people are saying about him. I mean, it can't be all lies. That's for sure. In so, this case. Yeah, it can't, be, it can't be all lies. If there's more than one person telling you that, then it can't be all lies. So you need to listen to some of it. Mecca ask you, Abigail. Abigail, you're relatively young and um, I guess you're in the dating world. But how serious is, is a relationship at the age of 18 or 17 or 16? I mean, and how serious is it could possibly be? That's my first question. And do you really think that at the age of 17, 18, 19, you really must tolerate any foolishness in your relationship? This is time to shop, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you have a point there, but it all depends on the individual themselves. I mean, some of them aren't mature. They have the age, yes, they're turning to adulthood, but I mean, they're not mature. Some of them are still immature. They'll act like they're, what, little 11, 12. But it, again, it all depends on the individual. I mean, you can have a, a mature um, relationship with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. You know, it all, it all depends on the individual themselves. I think if, if I was 17 or 18 and somebody come and say, you know, Will is a bad man, I might listen. I might not listen. It depends on what it is they're telling me and the source that, on that which it come from. But if I know that Will is a bad man and I'm 17, 18, 19 or even 40 in this case and I know he's a bad man, I would let him go. Because it makes no sense for you to waste your youth with a man that will destroy it. But, or a woman but how again if you know that maybe Will is a good man but then you just keep getting these rumors that he's a bad guy and he keeps doing things out there. You the Creole? Yeah. <laughs> in a Creole, what well, you know what we say? If then also, then nail is so. <laughs> All right? And I don't full Creole, you know. Born and grow the Belize. And I believe in it as saying that if then also, then nail is so. Then can't come and tell you that will bad. If everybody come in to tell you that will bad, will doing something you don't know. Well, definitely they do something. Okay. Will, will they do something? Or it is send out the wrong energy. Well, see, that, that's the thing. I mean, in this, like you're saying, you know, if Tanoso so, Daniel is so. And, yeah. you know, she needs to start listening to some of the things that are out there. I mean, if, so, if more than, like I said, if more than one person is saying the same thing, it's obvious there's obviously some truth to it. The, I agree with you, Will. It's investigation on him. <laughs> I say, ask him. Babe, why is it that everybody say you have Mary Jane? But he will still lie to you? But maybe not. Maybe he will say... Yes, I have Mary Jane. I, give, I always say give the person the opportunity to be honest with you before you start badgering them. He might say, you know what, babe, I don't have Mary Jane. You know, Mary Jane work across the street from me and every day we go to the veranda for lunch. It's nothing. It might be nothing. Yeah, that's but, true. And, and it, some innocent things can be taken out of context. I mean, Will and I come here every day. Thank God for morning matters so the talk must start yet. Then see on TV so they know we come here. But if... Every day you see Will and I here and you don't know us and you don't know what we do, you might say, to that, you, might say you know what, Will the cheat funny wife. Mm -hmm. but it, and then maybe five people will go to Will's wife and say that because he also has a modeling agency where he's always with beautiful girls. But if you don't know him, ten people might say, that boy, they're bad, you know, he always got girls <laughs> in the car. But his wife then will know and it's his responsibility to say to his wife, you know, babe, it was Mary Jane, it was Rhonda, it was whoever, we were just having lunch. But give Will or the man the opportunity to correct it before you go around saying he bad. Yeah, well, that, that's it. I mean, that's, there, was, there was quite an, something that you touched on there is rumors. <gasps> and rumors can actually spread like wildfire. I mean, even if it's, I mean, even if it's not true, it will actually spread like wildfire. And it's something that I always urge the models as well as people outside of the modeling realm to stay away from because you're just as bad as the person that initially started the rumor to carry the rumor. Perfect point. Is there still love out there? These days I feel like love is messed up. I believe in love. <laughs> I really believe that love exists, you know. I do too. I, really, I do too. If you haven't found it yet, don't stop looking. It's coming. It, it, and it is one of the sweetest things when you find it. But don't settle because if you settle, you never will find it. Yeah, exactly. And if what you're in, you're not happy, leave it because then again, you won't find out. And again, for those people out there that are, that are listening, you know, again, don't get confused with, don't get, don't confuse love with a feeling. It is not a feeling. It is a choice. I don't feel like I love you today. No, 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 no. I'm not happy with your behavior today, but I still love you. <laughs> exactly. I chose exactly. to love you or I stopped loving you because of what you did. Do you believe in love, Abigail? Yes. You're supposed to, you're 18. <laughs> it would be sad if you were 18 and didn't believe in love, don't you think? Gosh, you'd be so jaded so early. Oh, gosh. <laughs> now, if you're 50 and you're not believing in love, I'd say, get it together, love exists. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's really a beautiful thing, you know. One day, all of you will find it. And you'll have that smile on your face like Rhonda does. I don't know that I've found it, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm giving it my best shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's all that matters. Yeah. yeah as long as you're, you're giving it your best shot, that, that's all that matters. If you're giving your 100% in any relationship, 
it there is some way it's gonna have to work and it's either it gonna work or it's not gonna work but, but at least when you're done you're gonna say you know what i did my best not only that the ride was good like i had a nice good time i did good things i had fun mm -hmm. when it starts to become a problem and you know that you are and things are not working out and you can't counsel the strength leave it in an amicable way i really exactly. love my boyfriend you know but he lived at Cayo and I lived at Belize City. We meet up on some weekends, but he come from Placencia and he go visit there more than we meet up. What do you think about that? Why two owners no go to Placencia? Well, that is the same bus ride. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. However, I mean, he might be going down there to see family too. If he's originally from Placencia or he has family in Placencia, he might be going to Placencia to go visit family and you can't hold that against him. Because no. not everything that you have to remember, you're not in a marriage. Just you're in a relationship up. and you're dating. So that doesn't mean you, you're attached by the hip. No. And, and he doesn't have to take you everywhere. I agree, Will. But maybe occasionally he'd say, you know, let's go to PG or to Placencia, sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, and when he don't have time, then you go do something else by yourself. You don't have to see him all the time, you know. But the way she makes it sound is like she's, she has a problem with that the fa about the fact that she, she, she doesn't go at all. Well, he have to go to Placencia. That's like me having to have to go to Boom. You know, it, it, the, the part of my DNA, the same way I would imagine a part of this man's DNA. Placencia, exactly. DNA. So, allow them, you can't, you can't stop her. So, you either figure out if you can live with it or if you can't live with it because you're going to Placencia. Exactly. Speaking of Placencia, good morning to Isela at Z Touch in Placencia. Rana, who you don't know? Isela like morning matters? But you know everybody. I Even all the, all, the, all, the, all the people in the Caribbean too? Oh, I need to say good morning to all of them. Trinidad, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, and Barbados, Grenada, St. Vincent, the entire crew at Gal the Caribbean. Thank you for making Morning Matters a part of your morning. And all the Belizeans in Trinidad, good morning to you too. My Tazula said to all the Caribbean people. You know, it's funny. I'm not even going to get into that because... Last night, a guy was mimicking how he thinks I sung. I'm like, dude, I do not sung like that. <laughs> how did, how, what did he say? Something similar to what you said. <laughs> <laughs> so he kind of took up his voice like, hey! the, I'm like, To what? all the people in the Caribbean. I've been with my husband for 21 years. He say he not a cheat. But my womanly instinct tell me that he in the cheat. It could be that you're paranoid. All right? You don't have no proof that he the cheat. If you may have proof, you may have sent the proof to me. You may I say, well, I know my husband is cheat because, because I say I'm with Abigail. Because XYZ, yeah. <laughs> then you blame Abigail now. I know, I know <laughs> just to pull your leg. But um, if you have a husband or a boyfriend that you think is cheating or a wife, you come to them and say, you know, Rhonda, I think, you know, I, what I don't like about how you're behaving, what I don't like is X, Y, and Z. And because of X, Y, and Z, it causes me to think that you are cheating. Please explain to me. Yeah. It basically boils down to one thing, communication. Talk to the man. Yes. Yes. After 21 years, you should be you able should to talk to the exactly. man. Exactly. Not only that, but you should be able to figure out that, you know, things were this way and things were this way up until about a couple months ago. And from that couple months ago, it changed. Maybe and you at changed that point, too. Well, yeah, that, that's certainly the, I mean, it could be the case as well. So, like we said, you know, definitely communicate with each other. That's the, that's the key. A little talking never hurt nobody. No. Some people say I do too much of that. Well, you know what they say, right? Well, I can't say it on TV, but never mind. <laughs> but I really think that anyth most things can be solved if you're honest and you speak about them. That is, how, that is my take on life. If you're open and honest and you can communicate about them, most of the problems we're in would not exist. I really think so. I agree. I, I agree. agree. I had this boy. We were dating for a month and suddenly we just stopped talking. Eventually he texts me and we got back together. But I have a feeling that he was cheating because of his reaction when I am wrong. What am I to do? Wow. Wow. You can't just assume that he was cheating, but then again, reading that, you, you know, he, maybe he's cheating, of course. He wasn't cheating. He wasn't your man. Let's get that out of the way one time. This wasn't your boyfriend. You were seeing this man for a month. He did not communicate. He did not commit to you. He stopped communicating with you within that month or after that month. He decided, no, I want a little bit more fun. Now he called you back. You, this man wasn't cheating. This man wasn't your man. 
Well, let's uh, based on this text based that you're saying text. that you're sending that they sent in here. I mean, for a month, it's hard to say that you're in a committed relationship. And it is a new relationship. It is a new relationship, and for you to even think that this person is yours, or for the for you to think that this person is your man, it was never it, it was never such a case. You know, this is a new relationship. You're just starting the date. There's no way that you can actually say, you know what, he's mine. So if he's seeing other people out there, unless you're unless he came and you decide, er, both decided that you know what, Tom and Mary Jane, we did, we did sit on here today, and you know what, I think we want to give this more relation, this relationship one shot. I don't know, I want to decide, you know what, make we go ahead and we go as a relationship, as a couple. Then that that was a different situation. But in our month. That does certainly was a short period of time for even come down to that commitment. Well, if I just meet you in this month, the possibilities are maybe I want to see you six times for the month. Maybe seven, depending. Maybe ten maximum. Yeah. And I'll see you every day because I work, you work, or you're going to school, exactly. or whatever the case is. Exactly. So if you see one man ten times for the month, in that ten times there, you the text and the talk or whatever the case is, that are not enough time. For make you say you're in a relationship, you get for no will or you get for no Abigail, and that's not what wrong with a lot of we. But what a lot of the relationships nowadays, that as soon as I start talk to you, I feel oh my gosh, Will's my boyfriend. Will is not your boyfriend until both of you like Will says sit down and say we're gonna go exclusive. You have to have that conversation. You can't assume that when the man stop talk to you other because he decide you know what, while this girl is okay, I want to talk to somebody else. Of course he start talking to somebody else. Exactly. And nothing wrong with that. Because there's no commitment yet. No commitment yet. Well, speaking of commitment, I'm committed to the veranda and I think it's time for me to eat. <laughs> so, oh, before I go, I have to tell you that um, <laughs> you have for you to place your orders at the veranda, you can call them 668-3705. Call them before or by 11 o'clock every day to place your orders for lunch and they will deliver within... Albert Street, Region Street area, city limits, the man said, whole of city limits. They deliver within city limits, 668-3705. Some restrictions apply. So, Will. Yes. Wrap me up with Nuvo. Nuvo Model Management. All I must say, it's, uh, it's definitely professional. It's, different, it's definitely classy. It's definitely elegant. But most of all, it is giving our Belizean uh, men and women uh, an avenue to be able to take modeling to a different level. You know, I like the fact that um, Abigail said earlier um, that you have to stay healthy because I feel that being in, in, in a structure like this it promotes healthy living, healthy eating, healthy lifestyle and young people as well as old people like myself, we need to be conscious of what we put inside of our bodies. I mean as much as you want to look a certain way, you want to feel a certain way too. So I like that about the, the, the modeling. Well, see, the thing is, modeling in Belize for far too long has been a, a, a girl doing a commercial and right away she's a model. Or a girl does a, a, a photo shoot and right away she's a model. <laughs> but they don't understand that modeling is not just being pretty. It's also, it's a lifestyle. It's a, literally a lifestyle. So what we've done at Nouveau is we've actually introduced the girls to a modeling curriculum of learning different things about their bodies. For example, we had a dermatologist come in and the dermatologist ended up talking to them about skin conditions, maintaining a, their, their skin healthy, their hair healthy, um, what to do to maintain that glow on their skin. Um, we, also, we also had a psychologist come in and a psycho you wouldn't believe, but a psychologist was talking about how to overcome fear how to, how to deal with stress. Um, we had a nutritionist come in and she was talking to them about what you're able to put in your bodies and how it affects the body in general. So it's, it's, uh, it's on a different plateau altogether. I like it. You know, than just doing, you know, walking down the runway, okay, you're good at that, done, that's it. It's not only about that anymore, it's about learning. So it's, it, it, there's an entire learning process with it. Do you have um, do you have plus size models? Yes, we do. And, and I ask because there are a lot of, I mean, back in the day when you think a model, they have to be size one or zero, between zero and two. I don't know what the deal is. But there are 
people out there that would fit for any commercial, for a, or shouldn't say any, but for specific commercial, commercial. specific needs, that you need a, a, a normal looking person? Well, th that's certainly the case here with Nouveau. I mean, we give everybody an opportunity because of the fact that we understand that we're not just a runway agency. We're actually a full service modeling agency that we provide um, brand modeling, promo modeling, runway modeling. We provide for video commercials. We provide for billboards. We provide for um, photo shoots. So we, we co basically cover everything in the modeling industry. We have models that are from the height of about four nine all the way to about six foot, six foot two. And we have models that are double zero and they're going all the way to four, uh, size 14. So we actually cover the ranges within that. Okay, well, I was looking up your number because I might need to call to make an appointment so you could come and check me out. Six three five 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 five. You can't forget that. Six three five 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 five. That's the number to call Nouveau Model Management. You can check them out on Facebook as well. Yes, you can find us at MMM Belize Models on Facebook. Will, thank you so much for stopping in this morning. Thank you, Abigail. Thank you for sharing with us this morning. <laughs> thank you. As All right, well. <laughs> guys. Until next time, I encourage you to take care of yourselves and each other. This is Run the Crane along with Will Moreno. Saying goodbye. Gonna be my wife and I